Here, give me the warm filter and pull it out there. Cliff Hokinson is a director of photography. He now, says right. it took a lot of hard work and right determination, back. but he always knew that this is exactly where he's always wanted to be. For the last 20 years, Cliff has honed in on that passion, and his work has taken him around the world. He shot films with action hero Jean-Claude Van Damme in China, and in Vancouver, here he is on set with actor Martin Sheen, shooting a film called Badge of Honor. Today, he's on set shooting a music video for Curtis Clearsky and the Constellations, featuring the Butterflies and Spirit dancers. Well, I started as an uh, electrician and a grip, uh, moving lights and moving cameras, and I built a jib arm at the Winnipeg Film Group many years ago. And then I found my evolution into camera movement, and the camera movement, I became a steady cam operator. And after steady cam operator, I went through for my love, which is being a director of photography. Just recently, he shot a music video for the Cree band Midnight Shine, and their rendition of Neil Young song heart of gold I want to live I want to give I've been a minor for a heart of gold it's these expressions I never give be searching for a heart of gold and I'm getting old shot entirely in the Cree community of Attawapiskat and featuring many local people that live in the area. The main thing about helping Adrian in Attawapiskat with the band Midnight Shine is giving them a video that the world will see to show their talents. They have incredible voices, they have incredible fan base, but we want more people to see their video because they are the artists, they are the true great musicians that the world needs to see. And with the launch of the video on social media earlier this week, so far they've racked up 12,500 views and counting. These projects bring my heart out and make me want to do something phenomenal. They tell incredible stories about incredible people that really help a lot of people. Tina House, APTN National News, Vancouver.